YouTubers, what's up? Anyway, got a few extra minutes today. Kathy came home from the post with some uh, stuffs that I bought off eBay for the uh, DJI Phantom Vision 2 Plus quadcopter. So anyway, I got the stuff installed and said, hey, before I put it away, I'll show you the updates and the upgrades that I've uh, got done. So, first upgrade was the case. Needed a case. Can't go anywhere without a case with one of these things. And uh, this one here is made in the good old USA. Not often you can say that these days. And it's made by Go Professionals. And it's, uh, it's kind of a Pelican type of case. I don't know if it's of the quality of Pelican cases, but it's, uh, it's much on the same line. It's, uh, it's sealed and it's, it's watertight. I don't know if it's waterproof. It's got a vent, a pressurized vent and stuff in it, as you can see here. Uh, the graphics that you see on it are graphics that Kathy made for the, uh, for the case itself. It just came in as a plain case. It has uh, allowances here to put a padlock on, if need be. And uh, it also has a lockable latch. The case is uh, deep enough to put the uh, Vision 2 in. And, uh, and that's what matters, you know. It's got a hinged, true hinge case. So uh, you won't have to worry about the hinges breaking. Looks pretty durable. And uh, it's got a nice shape, good heavy handle. And uh, it's not too, too heavy. So we'll uh, open her up and we'll have a look. We'll have a look-see. So in order to open up the latches, you have to pull. And there's a lock underneath, as you can see. And when it opens up, there's your quad. And the beauty with this is uh, you can leave the blades on if you want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera over closer and I'll show you some of the uh, newest upgrades that I did with the, uh, with the Phantom. Okay, so as you can see, that's a better view. You have a place for your spare propellers. You have a place for your transmitter, your remote. You have a place for your batteries. I use this cavity here for a little bit of tools and and some SD cards and uh, in here you can put your charger and up there you can put your car charger and uh, there's lots of room you know sufficient room for this anyway so we'll take out the quadcopter first and we'll have a little look-see at what's done with it and here we be so as you can see, we have the uh, gimbal lock on here. And of course, what happens with the gimbal lock is it's kind of transparent, which I think DJI should have not did it that way. I think they should have had it painted an orange color or a red because once you uh, start these things up, if you leave that gimbal lock on, it could do some damage to your three axis gimbal gimbal so uh, I think they should have had it but anyway so what we did here is we just added a uh, tag saying remove before flight I bought this off of eBay along with this carbon fiber guard gimbal guard and it came in from Israel and uh, really good uh, really good seller on eBay um, I'll probably attach the uh, the link to his uh, to his uh, auction on the description. I also did another thing. Um, I went to rckiller.com and uh, I ordered a part from, from their site that protects the gimbal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the lock here. I'm going to see if I can attempt to show you what I did. 
And what happens with these, uh, with these gimbals? Now, if you looked, see if I can get this right here now, guys. Bear with me. If you look here, there's a aluminum cap that comes here, goes over, and goes up there. And inside there, there's also a little Teflon spacer. Usually this is not here. Usually it's just this, this cover here, the back part of it. And what happens is when these things take a hit, this gimbal can separate from this part of the frame and it can drop off. And there's a little ribbon that you'll see, that little black ribbon, that'll tear off. Once that tears off, you're probably going to lose your camera. And the ribbon is very expensive to buy and hard to get, actually. So what this does here, you, you remove the original cap, this back one, and it comes with a new CNC machine cap. And it comes with this here uh, attachment as well. So it screws on from the back. So basically all of this is new. So in the event that you have a mishap, you land on something and you, you, you damage your gimbal, um, it won't fall off because this is keeping it on there. So you can't lose it. And in, and in turn, then you won't tear your, uh, your ribbon. So that was one of the things that I, that I did first. Then I said, well, okay, what I'll do now is I'll order in this carbon fiber uh, guard. Because when you're landing, if you're landing in grass or if you're landing, you could land on a rock. You know, at least this will give it some protection. So uh, anybody that's out there with one of these things, it might be something that you, you might want to consider. So that's what I did. So I'll uh, put this back on before I forget. And uh, I'll show you what else that I got. Let's see now if I can remember how all this goes back. There we be. So that's how that looks. Now, we have the transmitter. And of course, there is the transmitter. So we'll take that now and uh, we'll move this where it's supposed to be. Move the antenna up and we'll have a look at that next. So this has allowances made for the iPhone 6 or, or for an iPhone. I happen to have an iPhone 6 Plus, which is this. So I'm going to snap it out of the case. I'm going to show you basically how it looks. Because you can actually control the uh, quadcopter from this particular phone. So there you have it. So what i got to do is tighten up the screws in the back here. Because I had them loosened up a bit just to put it back in the case without straining the, uh, the hinge. So that's how it would look. Now in a perfect world, that's great. But when you get outside in the sunshine, well that's going to create a problem for you. So what I did is I ordered in this from uh, Taiwan. It says 4 Phantom on it. It's built quite well. And uh, it's got suction cups on it. So what you do is you take your iPhone and you stick it. Be nice, guys. You stick it on here with the suction cups, like so. And then you take that and you bend it over like that. And there you have it. Now. I haven't tried this yet, so bear with me. There's a little flap there that got to open up. So you'll take that, put that there, like so, like so. And now, when you're flying, you have some shade, which is pretty cool. 
So you'll have a better chance of seeing your iPhone because you can do a lot of work with your iPhone and these phantoms. You can, con you can control the panning of your camera. You can actually control the full flight if you wanted to. Uh, panning of the camera can also be done through this switch here as well. So, but I thought, I don't know what it cost. I think maybe seven or eight bucks in free shipping. And, uh, you know, heck, it's better than nothing, isn't it? So, I thought it was worth the, uh, worth the effort to get it. And it was uh, fairly fast shipping. I mean, from China to Canada in about three weeks. So, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I've shipped stuff from Newfoundland to Ontario and took almost three weeks. So, the Chinese are on the ball, so to say. There you have it, guys and gals. That's the latest updates on the uh, Phantom Vision 2 Plus. V3.0, they call it. It's a nice case. I picked the case up at uh, flyingcameras.com. And I think they're in Vancouver. It was around $200 and $220 for the case, plus shipping. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Couldn't get anything locally really for it at all. So it was a good, uh, it was a good opportunity to get one here in Canada because, geez, in Canada it's hard to buy stuff. You guys in the States got it made with Amazon.com because our Amazon.ca. Oh man, I don't don't even get me started on that. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, if you got any questions, you can make them. Or ask them if you got any comments, you can make them. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video, hopefully. So thanks for watching, guys. Be good to each other. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.